So, something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra medigel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. If that's the only way you'll let us in, I agree. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. Alrighty then. Let's go and get in there. I'm starting to listen to the Mass Effect 2 soundtrack and like, bro, Mass Effect 2 soundtrack is a huge step up to Mass Effect 1. I mean, Mass Effect 2 is a huge step up to Mass Effect 1 in many ways. Let me in. What do you want? I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. talking it okay oh wait hold on it needs to be balanced oh my god fuck you what what you finicky ass piece of shit what are you talking about? Bullshit. I did not fail. Nuh uh. Your mission ends here, Shepard. Huh? Ambush. You're a sleeper agent for Venezia. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! I'm afraid not. You see? Oh no. Garrus, get up! Come in. Looks like that Asari don't do the kill. Great. They came out of there. You mean the get the inorganics the Asari had with her. 
Venezia brought them with her. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. Okay. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Creating that cure was some bullshit. Did it? That Asari scientist, the one in the mess hall, she just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. I... I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess. Sarah and the Spectre. Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look. The guards? They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension. Hey, I got work? 75 Paragon. I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you I just you got enough. the trophy principle. Oh, God, what a cliche. You saved their lives, do you know that? Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these from me. Ventrolis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. 24 Paragon. And now I can get the final charm rating, which means I can probably actually fucking save that dude. Alright, good. With that, I think I can save that one guy now. And now I can start working on my sniper rifle. We're level 45, we're very close to being max level. Okay then, let's mosey. We need to get into that maintenance area. I need to remember what planet I need to go back to to save that guy who's stuck on a coos. Well, not stuck on a coos, but, you know, was a, a, a coos survivor. Because I just want to save him. I don't want him to kill himself. I also don't care if that Cerberus guy gets killed. Benezia. Wait, this was the way to get there? Let me save my game just in case I mess something up. Am I sure I wasn't here for another side quest?
Hmm. Well, if I go the other way, I'm just gonna be attacked, so... You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been stricter with her. Oh, shit. Oh, great. Okay, then. Need a little help over here. Shit, he wants me. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. The ship that attacked Eden Prime? 
I didn't think anything that size could land on a planet. It has a very powerful mass effect drive. She said but it. That is not Sovereign's true power. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mu Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? Four thousand years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Someone on Novaria found it? Two thousand years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. How did the Rachni find it? They searched, patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. Why does Saren need the Mu Relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the Relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. Shit. So we still have to fight. Shit, I'm done for. <laughs> I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Nedigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother, good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... Why did that body move? That's why. It's going to share its secrets with me. This one serves as our 
voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. Did you order your people to kill the science team? No. We were locked away here. The children are beyond our songs. They have been lost to silence. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. And their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen. They stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? The Rachni were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us. Or return our people to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No. We, I, do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg. Hearing Mother cry in our dreams, a tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. I made the right decision doing what I did.
Wait, have the people below me turned into a threat? Are you serious? The people below me just became enemies, didn't they? But why? Probably because I let the queen go. Alright, well I think we're supposed to get out of here now anyway. Because we did our mission. It's gonna take me a minute to get- oh no wait, just straight to the Normandy? Wait, the situation in the hall has not been resolved. What do you mean? Oh yeah, I didn't actually go into the hot labs. Hmm. Silly me. Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? I don't understand anything yet. What were you doing here? Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. They brought it here to wake it up? Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni, it is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours, and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of Neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Nera the stuff. Oh, fuck! That's quite a brutal death. I was not expecting a death like that in Mass Effect. Take out those hostiles! I mean, we kind of just did. So now we gotta purge them. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input. 875-020-079. Code Omega. Local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. We better go. We need to leave. We'll be going now. We'll be going now. We will be going now. Guys, get into the goddamn elevator. Holy shit, that was way too good.